I'm Lana Kelly, and this is Hudson Valley Art Speak. Today, we're going to be talking to Nancy Clark, who is um, Nancy is an artist, but she's also very deeply involved with the Friends of the Great Swamp. So you'll be hearing a little bit about that organization, and also about the um, the art celebration that they have every October. Nancy's very deeply involved with that, and she's the art chairman. And uh, welcome, Nancy. Thank you very much. Thanks for coming today. So, Nancy. Um, you're an artist, and um, mainly you work, do you work outdoors, or do you work in your studio? Um, I work in my studio. Uh-huh. <coughs> Excuse me. I go outdoors and take photographs and sketch, but I uh, am more comfortable working in my studio. You, and you bring the work back <coughs> there to work yeah, on it, yeah. 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 Um, and so, <coughs> I guess it's catching. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of work do you do mainly? It, it's uh, landscapes and plants? Landscapes. Uh -huh. is my landscapes and skyscapes are my great loves and always have been. Mm -hmm. um, I've. Well, I started out, I don't know if we were seeing each other during this phase of my life, but I started doing um, house portraits several years ago in watercolor, and I did a lot of them, a whole lot of them, when my kids were just really getting involved in school and I could have five hours straight right. <laughs> to paint. <laughs> um, and then I kind of migrated into doing other things when I got kind of burned out with house portraits. Yeah, actually that, that, that was about the time that I met you. Oh, you were okay. working on house portraits and marketing them and, and yeah. um, putting them out there in the community. That was fun. Yeah. It was a lot of fun and I still will look at a house and can you think what angle to get at. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> but I um, haven't done one for a long time. Actually, uh, not too long ago I got a phone call from somebody who said she had a flyer of mine and thought she'd thrown it away, and she found it at the bottom of a bag. <sighs> and she said, here it is, 15 years later, I'm calling you up to see if I can commission you to do a drawing of a tree. And I haven't done it yet, but trees are something I've been I focusing on lately. And this so, was a particular tree that she yeah, happened to yeah, love, a maybe a fabulous in her beech house, tree in her, her yard. yard. Yeah. Yeah, so it was funny to have that pop up from my past and uh -huh. sort of fall into the place where I am at the moment. Yeah, yeah. Just looking at trees an awful lot. Yeah. I see one of the trees that you have here, um, well, a couple of them. You, you have the trees in the fog, the pastel that you did here. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. That was in my yard. I woke up early one morning and there was a beautiful fog all over the area. Well, because I live near the swamp, so when the fog comes, it's, you know, the whole neighborhood is full. And um, yeah, that's, that's my yard in the fog. That's one of the things that I do sometimes uh, when I get up early for a run. I'll, I'll, you know, often it's foggy and, and I end up stopping. I stop so many times it's like I'm hardly running, you yeah, know, but yeah. it's the trees and the fog and, and the roadsides. It's just gorgeous. Yeah. Well, I've also thought I'm kind of in my my vapor period because I like um, fog and clouds. I didn't really, well, I have two cloud uh -huh. things here. That one was from um, a trip I took to Iceland and it's, you know, the sunset you could see in many other places, but that one happened to occur in Iceland. And this was um, early into the sunset in uh, Yellowstone last uh -huh. winter. It's so. interesting because I was thinking about how you travel. I know you've, you've been to abroad many times. You've been to Egypt and, and to different... Um, uh, not Egypt, not Morocco, Egypt? Morocco, India. And yeah. How does that um, affect your work? Do you, do you find influences from the uh, the art that you see when you're there? Or? It's more uh, the, the countryside, the vegetation. Well, I have thousands of photographs and I will see something and run home and take out my photographs and pour through and say, ah, that bell, you know, that rang when I was in such and such a place relates to this thing. So uh -huh. these things are always sort of moseying around in my head and beginning to add up eventually. So it just kind of, at some point, it'll click into yeah. place and yeah. you'll start working on it and yeah. it becomes a painting? Yeah, or a pastel. Uh huh. I spent a lot of time working on, uh, well, you know, my cloud pastel collection that yes. I did a few years ago. That was a lot of fun. That was really wonderful. And it was just the playing with the pastels was 
heavenly. Mm -hmm. I get my hands in things. I get very dirty when I work. And uh, just manipulating the pastel with my hands was just heaven, uh -huh. absolute heaven. It's uh -huh. not quite so heavenly when I do it with oil paint. No, is it, is it, is, which, which is more difficult to work with, the oil or the pastels? I don't know as much about pastel. I feel as though I can make pastel do anything I want it to do. Uh -huh. But I'm still learning about oil. Um, so I can't make it do anything I want. This is, um, that's from Kansas, where my daughter lives, and that's colored pencil. And that's another medium that you can make do anything you want it to. You can make do. <laughs> I can. <laughs> yeah, I can. I but it's, I it's forgiving, as they say. Yeah, 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 yeah. So. And the oil is less so? Um, I, th I feel as though it is, yeah. Uh, I haven't figured out why I'll let you know when <laughs> when I get that answer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's a more recent thing that you've been working yeah, on. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're still sticking with the, the trees, and I see the fog in this, this oil the that fog, you have yeah, here. Fog, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So what's next? What's next? Um, trees and fog, I guess. Um, do you want to talk about the show? Because that's... Sure. Trees is... Trees are one of the things that um, I want to personally concentrate on, do a little collection of trees um, for, the, uh, for the Frogs Art Show. We need to back up just a minute and okay. um, talk about what show we're talking, tell, yeah. tell, tell everybody what show we're talking about and about your involvement with the Great Swamp. Okay, uh, the Great uh, Friends of the Great Swamp. Um, started back when um, somebody was trying to put a dump in the middle of Patterson uh -huh. and the good residents of Patterson were so alarmed that this Friends of the Great Swamp came into being because it meant that all runoff was going to go right into the Great Swamp which um, feeds into the New York City watershed. So, uh, and you, you just, I mean, you can't do that to a wetland. Mm -hmm. We have endangered species in that wetland. I mean, really, truly endangered. And we've discovered things in there that people didn't know existed in there. There was a leopard frog, a new leopard frog that was discovered last year. And there's one place in Westchester where they found it. And, and it's also in our great swamp. And those are the only places people know that they exist. Really? So the organization is to protect the Great Swamp, to spread awareness of it, to educate people about the swamp. And coming up soon are our series of canoe trips in the Great Swamp. And I think they'll put a, uh, the website up on the screen shortly. Um, and if anybody is interested in getting involved in a canoe trip, it's fabulous. You feel like you're in the African Queen. I, I, I have, have a reservation. It? No, it'll oh. be the first time I've ever oh, done it, great, and I'm really great. excited about it. And I've been trying to figure out if I can bring my camera. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I'm, well, I'm just uh, afraid. What if? I, I mean, I, I've canoed many times, and I've never fallen in the water. But that would be just the time, you know, when I, <laughs> I have my camera. Like the, the canoe will tip over, and I'll be gone. The camera will. If you could take but, something small, it would probably yeah, be the best. Yeah. But um, yeah, the canoe trips are really fantastic. People are just blown away by yeah. that excursion, that experience. Um, but we have our big celebration in October, celebrating the swamp. And um, there's a whole variety of things that go on at the show. It's a, a big adult art show and um, a kid's art show, or the kids in the local schools um, work towards it and they do wonderful things. They do some murals and and last year we gave them the names of four and descriptions of four endangered species and um, the kids, the school kids addressed those and did artwork of the um, New England cottontail, the, uh, oh geez now I'm going to forget them, the bat, the Indiana bat, um, Oh, I can't remember the others. That's terrible. Well, that's okay. But, but, yeah. but about the art show, I know that you made some changes in it last year. Um, previously, it was just kind of okay, you know, bring Anybody your work bring to the anything. Great Swamp, and we'll hang it all. And but you kind of shifted your focus a little bit last year. Yeah. Well, people were kind of bringing in beautiful work that 
didn't relate to the swamp, and we really want to raise awareness of what's really in there, right. what an <clears throat> incredible treasure it is that we live around. Yeah. And so, yeah, we focused on the different areas. There are a number of places where you can get not really into the swamp, but you can have access to it. Um, uh, the, the, there's a northern flow up in Dover, and then the southern flow of the swamp from there down through Dutchess County, P Putnam County, and then down into Westchester. So there's a couple of sites up on the north flow, and then a few other sites. Um, or you were mentioning the, the train. Yes, up yes. Up to the Appalachian Trail. <clears throat> I yeah. think I'm getting ahead of you. No, that's okay. <laughs> Let me just throw that out, that okay. um, people can actually take Metro North to, uh, to a stop called the Appalachian Trail and, and have access to the Swamp River and the boardwalk that goes across the Swamp River there. Mm -hmm. And if they want, they can continue on hiking on the trail or can, yeah. they can just spend their time right there on the boardwalk. It's, it's cool. They just hop off the train with their backpacks onto a little platform. Uh -huh. <clears throat> and the, um, the boardwalk goes, the boardwalk is new, by the way, built by volunteers for the Appalachian Trail. Goes across the wetland and then up into the woods and on and over to Dover, the other side of um, the mountain there in, in yeah. um, Pauling. And um, so there's a number of places where people can go and there's preserves that people can go to. And um, and we're going to have a series, we did last year have a series of rambles with the artists that were a lot of fun. Yeah. Do you know <clears throat> we're almost done? Um, so I'm, I'm just going to kind of wrap up for us for a couple of minutes. Um, the website is frogs.org, mm -hmm. Friends of the Great Fro Swamp. Frogs.org. Frogs. Oh, New York. Oh, dot New York. Dot org. Dot org. Yeah. And people can see. Excuse me, it's frogs New York. Okay. Org. Okay. But people can go there to see, uh, get information about the show, to see what, you know, there's birds of prey there. There's, there's, mm. it's not just the art show, there's a lot of educational material about the swamp and about the organization, uh, about the importance of preserving the water and the area around there. Um, Anything else that? Uh... That little piece there is uh, wildflowers. I did that and it was great fun to do. These are all wildflowers that can be found in the swamp, um, mostly in the spring, but on the back there's a flyer at the kiosk in the entrance to the two places, up at the Appalachian Trail and one at the Environmental Park in Patterson. And there's a little flyer in black and white uh -huh. with these flowers on it and then it tells when they um, when they bloom, and okay. there's other informational materials there. Okay, so that's coming up in October, and I hope that everybody will be able to get out and see it. It's um, it's it's really an interesting uh, place. Thousands, a couple of thousand people, I think, came last year, so it's oh, quite an yeah. event. And um, thank you for coming today, and and uh, thanks for listening to us, and uh, thanks for the crew, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Mm -hmm.